Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a tech news update. We are Tuesday, July the 25th, 2017. And today in our tech news update, we have Muslims in China that apparently, according to some reports, have to install spyware on their devices so that the Chinese government can track what they say, what they do, what they want. And basically, this is completely nuts. But anyways, China not being really the best country in the world for the, um, you know, privacy and for spying on its citizens. It's actually uh, quite something. Uh, so apparently, to make sure that everything's all right, Muslims need to install spyware on the devices that they actually purchase. Well, paint will be deprecated, but not removed. A lot of reports yesterday were saying that Microsoft Paint app, and it's kind of interesting because I don't know why people are going so crazy over paint. I mean, yeah, okay, but there's Paint 3D and there's, there's so many other choices. Uh, kind of interesting to see how it really created a big uh, wave on the internet. But anyways, even if it would not come with your Windows 10 PC, it will be, according to Microsoft, still available as a Centennial app in the Windows Store that you'll be able to, of course, download. Microsoft is launching a new site, a new website with online tool that is called Help Me Choose. And that is basically a tool where you are asked a few questions and they tell you what type of PC might be good for you. The good part of this is, yes, it's interesting because it actually, you know, kind of directs you, depending on what you're going to say, to uh, some good choices. The bad thing is, I don't think every model and every, you know, brand of PC is in there. It's a very select type PCs that Microsoft and its partners want to show. So, uh, okay, could be better. Intel is pushing forward and quad-core um, Intel CPUs might soon be in ultra thin, ultra thin laptops, and in much sooner than we think. Uh, one of the biggest problems with the quad core CPUs inside laptops was the fact that they used a lot of power, and also uh, in you know ultra thin laptops that have very thin batteries, it was not necessarily the choice uh, that they wanted to put in there. But it seems that now it might be more manageable, and it's coming pretty soon to make our laptops even more powerful. Android O is once again in another public beta and is, is, it is extremely near, extremely close to its release. And now we still have no official name for Android O. What will it be? That's going to be interesting. Oatmeal cookie? Oreo? Who knows? But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what will get out of this and of course it's going to take probably a lot of time before it gets to most devices and uh, if you think hackers are the worst and the most dangerous out there for leaked information and personal data well think again a new report says that sensitive data is often leaked by simply uh, misconfiguration and missteps or not understanding that this or that platform is not used correctly. And one example that a security company says is Google Groups where of course online businesses can have groups that are private for its company uh, resource and workers but often they don't configure that uh, setup correctly so it can actually uh, still leak data online and often is not even protected. So just searching for information might actually give you that information by just Googling it. Well, we are, you know, more and more we're getting um, some people like Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking that are saying, well, you know, AI, you got to be careful. It's going to, you know, kill humans and destroy the world. But on the other side, um, artificial intelligent researchers say, Come on, okay? You say that because you don't know exactly what we're doing. Yes, if you were be here, if you be working in AI like we do, you'd understand that how we do it, 
there's no danger for the future of civilization and in fact the AI we have today is still pretty dumb um, even though it might look like it's not so that uh, you know we're still years and years before anything really cool from AI comes out and uh, it won't be dangerous according to them Google's study has found that ransomware victims have paid out over $25 million since 2014. Now, you know what? Considering the amount of ransomware, the amount of people that were actually infected with ransomware, I kind of find that amount not that big, actually. You know, $25 million is a lot of money, yeah, but still, it isn't that much considering, you know, from 2014 to 2017. But we know one thing is that since a lot of the ransomware wants people to pay in bitcoins, that apparently is one of the biggest problems of getting paid. Most people don't understand how to get bitcoins. So basically, they don't pay. Very often they don't pay because they just don't know what to do. So uh, kind of interesting, $25 million dollars. And finally, do you have a smart vacuum cleaner like the Roombas and, you know, all of these companies that actually make these little vacuum cleaners that move in your home on their own? Well, one of the features of these is the mapping of your home. And, of course, it needs to map your home so that it can understand where to go and how to actually go around your home. Well, a company says that, you know what, that data is up for sale. It seems that the companies that make these little devices also sell the data of how your home is configured. And of course, one of the interesting aspects of this is all the companies that sell all devices that sell, you know, um, all sorts of um, things that you would buy to just, you know, make your home more beautiful uh, could kind of, you know, maybe redesign a lot of the furniture we have because of how we actually decide that our home is going to be basically installed. So it's kind of interesting, you know, every type of data is possible for sale. So this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, July 25th, 2017. you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.